Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be going over our top five, or my top five, <laughs> favorite products from five different brands. And let me tell you, a lot of them surprisingly were affordable, which I was really surprised because I didn't think I owned like five different products that I actually really love from five different brands, even though I've done so many review videos here on my channel that I'm not surprised in a way. <laughs> so I'm really excited to do this video. I've been noticing a lot of people uploading these types of videos, so I hope you guys enjoy. Everything I use and talk about in today's video will be listed down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's jump on in. Let's go over our top five. So we're gonna start off with Winky Lux because I love Target and I love Winky Lux products, not only because of their packaging, it's just so aesthetically pleasing, but I also love that it's affordable or somewhat pretty affordable. And a lot of this product I have purchased many, many times for myself. And if you followed me here on my channel for a long time or for a while, <laughs> you are really familiar with these products because I just use them over and over time and time again. And the first product that I absolutely love, this is the Winky Lux Lip sleeping mask. This one's for $18. You know, it sounds like a lot of money, but to be honest, this will last you such a long time. I think one of these lasted me for like a year and a half, almost two years. And obviously it's not hygienic because you're sticking your finger in there, but I love the scent. It's so nourishing. If you ever deal with dry lips, I highly suggest for you to try this out. It's just so, so good. Love the scent to it. If it could be a candle, I would buy it. Love the packaging. It never loses its beautiful, like gold, shiny, like packaging to it. It just doesn't get old. It doesn't fade away. And I personally really, really love it. So if you're looking for a good sleeping mask, I highly suggest this one. The next product of theirs that I really love, it is the blush. <laughs> this I think runs for like $20. They came with so many different shades. I did a review on this a long time ago. And this is my favorite shade out of the entire collection. It is tea time. Not only do I love the packaging because it reminds me of like Sleeping Beauty or like, what is it? Sleeping Beauty, not Sleeping Beauty. It was like Beauty and the Beast <laughs> because of the rose in it. I just love the shape of it. I think it looks really, really pretty, very different. Obviously, it's a little bulky. That is the only thing, but the consistency, you guys, it blends really nicely. Someone like me who has, you know, hyperpigmentation on the top of my cheekbones, I do have to wear a medium to full coverage to cover the hyperpigmentation and then finding cream products that actually blend really well and doesn't move all the foundation and everything it's kind of hard for me to find or at least a year ago it was and this is a, such a beautiful undertone it blends really nicely it holds a pigmentation really well it doesn't have a weird sheen consistency to it it's just just so so good so if you haven't tried these out and you're looking for a really good cream blush I would definitely suggest this one they have so many different shades so you can definitely pick through there the Winky Lux Universal Brow Pencil this is something I've repurchased many times. I love it. I'm actually even wearing it today just because I love the undertone. You know, it's probably not going to be the perfect shade. If you like to change hair colors, I like to do that often. So, you know, we've gone through this brow pencil for many different hair colors. But to be really honest, like if you're not good at picking out a brow pencil shade for yourself and you also like to kind of, you know, kind of change hair color, but you want something that's just going to kind of go with everything or at least somewhat work, I feel like this is perfect because because when I'm light, it works really well. When my hair is a little dark, it's a perfect in between that gives me time to buy another brow pencil. I feel like this is perfect as well. Like if you're traveling and your girlfriend forgets to bring in bring her brow pencil and she's like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm gonna do, you can definitely share this because the likelihood of it looking pretty good on her is a likelihood that's gonna work for her as well. So I personally love it. I love the price point. I love the pigmentation. It holds up really well. I don't have any issues ever drying in my brows. It reminds me the consistency has like a nice thickness to it that it's really easy for me to dry in my brows. And I love this bully that it comes with. And again, the packaging just never fades. It never gets scratchy. It just holds really, really nicely. And I definitely feel like their products are just really, really good. Lipstick. This is a beautiful shade. I honestly don't really remember <laughs> what the shade of this lip color is I'll find it but I'll have it linked in the description box but this is one of the Winky Lux lipsticks it it's kind of ruined but I love the rosy kind of like undertone that it has. It's just so, so pretty. I love the matte finish. It's so creamy. It holds a pigmentation really nicely. And I just love it. Like if you haven't tried any of their lipsticks, definitely try this one. I just love the packaging. It's really cute. It reminds me of like a little pill. And again, the packaging holds up really, really well. It hasn't faded. It hasn't like peeled off or anything. So I absolutely love their stuff. Skincare. This is something that they launched about a year ago. And I also got to try it out as well. And I love this 
eye cream, you guys. This is the Winky Lux Wakey Wakey Brightening and Depuffing Eye Cream. I apply this day and night. It is just so good. It feels really lightweight, moisturizing. It kind of has like a gel-like consistency. It has vitamin E and a hyaluronic acid and caffeine, jojoba oil and caffeine extract in it as well. And I absolutely love it. It's affordable, but this lasts you a long time because you do not need a lot of product. It's also cruelty-free, which you guys know personally really love. And again, the packaging hasn't turned out so bad. It looks pretty good. I'm almost out and I'm so, so sad. The next brand is LA Girl and I love their stuff, you guys. A lot of their stuff from their concealers. I mean, there's so many things that I can count <laughs> on like all fingers that I absolutely love. But if I had to pick products that I end up really, really loving time and time again. And let's start off with the LA Girl Nudie Lipstick. This is so, so good. I did a review video on these and Nudie is my all-time favorite shade. It's super pigmented. It feels really creamy. Love the undertone. It's a perfect everyday type of lip shade. I love the packaging. It is magnetic, girl, so you do not have to worry about the top line all around. I just think they did a really great job and I love the price point, you guys. It's like really, really affordable and I absolutely love it. Brow Pencil. This is something that I absolutely love from their collection as well. And this is the LA Girl Brow Bestie and this is in the shade Medium Brown. If you followed my channel for a while, then girl, you already familiar with this brow pencil because I have bought so many of these. It's my go-to brow shade. I absolutely love it. The pigmentation holds really nicely throughout the entire day. Love the undertone to it. I love the affordability of it. Love the spoolie. And it's just really good. It's really pigmented. I love the undertone and I feel like they did a really great job. Blush. Now someone like me who has hyperfix pigmentation on the top of my cheekbones. You probably can't see them right now, but let me tell you, girl, underneath everything, they're definitely there, okay? <laughs> and I always have to wear medium to full coverage foundation to really cover the hyperpigmentation. And finding a cream blush that doesn't move the foundation and everything that I have said underneath is really hard for me to find, especially that's gonna give me a really nice finish, that's not gonna look shiny, that's gonna hold the pigmentation throughout the entire day. And let me tell you, LA Girls Soft Matte Cream Blush, ooh, is just so, so good. If you haven't tried this, you guys, I'm telling you, you're missing out you have to try this the finish is beautiful my favorite shade from their collection is Gracie but like they're all really nice really beautiful I absolutely love it this is like my new favorite I absolutely love the price point it's just affordable and you can never go wrong with something like this Ellie girl lip liners you know I've tried their like old-school ones like the ones you actually need a pencil sharpener <laughs> to use and I have also tried their automatic but I recently have fell in love with their lip liners I just love them I think they're all really good but my most favorite is the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Stay Liner. And this is shade Bare Forever Bare. It's just a beautiful nude. I love the fact that it's automatic. It saves you so much time. You don't need a pencil sharpener. Love the creamy consistency. It's just really easy for you to line at your lips. And I love the undertone. It's just a really nice nude. So if you haven't tried their lip liners, I highly suggest that they have so many different shades to pick from. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I feel like LA Girl does such a great job because not only is it affordable, but look at the pan sizes. I feel like they're always consistent with the size of the palette. It, and I feel like you're getting a lot of product. This will last you such a long time. My favorite out of all of the ones I've tried is the, L, is the LA Girl Pro Artistry Eyeshadow Palette. And look at these eyeshadows, you guys. I've hit pan. You can definitely see which ones I've liked more. I absolutely love the undertones. It's just so, so pretty. And they blend really, really nice. They haven't any issues with these eyeshadows at all. Elf, I feel like, is just hands down so, so good. Anything that they launched that I have tried, I ended up really loving. Let me start off with a body shimmer or body glow. Do you guys remember when this launched? I absolutely love this stuff, you guys. I still use it and I absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure it's still available. And this is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Glow Up Body Oil. This reminds me of the Sol de Janeiro, but like the most affordable option. <laughs> love the scent. Love the finish to it. I absolutely love it, you guys. It's really, really good. And I just love that it's vegan and cruelty-free. I think they just do a really good job with the formula and the undertone. And I just feel like whenever they launch something, it just always stands out on its own than anyone else in the market. Another product that I absolutely love that I have purchased, that I've owned for a really long time, is the e.l.f. Powder Brush. I think this brush costs like $3. I feel like all of their brushes do really, really well, and I absolutely love it. But this one specifically, I have had and used for many, many years. I just love using this to apply on blush. I'm not sure if it's like the flatness of it or the angle or the density of the brush. I don't know what it is. It is but I feel like whenever I apply on blush it just applies on perfectly evenly throughout my face and I just love this brush you guys it's just so good 
concealer. This is like something I've repurchased so many times. And this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. This is in the shade, what is it? Medium warm. I love this concealer, you guys. I love the coverage. I love the undertone. It blends really nicely. It holds up throughout the entire day. It doesn't like separate. It doesn't get weird or anything. I absolutely love the thick, chunky applicator that it has. I just love it, you guys. This is just so, so good. Love the price point to it. This lasts me a really long time. I actually like this more than Shape Tape. Um, but this is just really nice. So when they come out with concealers, I'm always really excited to test them out. Blush. Blush is another product that I feel like e.l.f. did really, really well. And specifically the Putty Blush. Remember when these came out? Love the price point. Love the finish. It blends really nicely, especially over foundation. It doesn't move your foundation at all. It doesn't kind of get messy. It just blends really nicely. Has a really nice finish to it. And I personally really love the undertone. This is like my favorite shade out of all of them. I'm not sure the name of this specific cream blush but I will look for it and have it linked in the description box but I love the price point love the size perfect for travel perfect if you're starting your makeup kit I just absolutely love it lastly is foundation this is my favorite foundation to be really honest you guys I've already purchased like two of these and this is the elf camo CC cream foundation this is full coverage with a natural finish it has any niacinamide SPF 30 in it the shade that I jump from applying on is medium 330 warm and also 240 I will We'll look for it and have it linked to the description box but this is basically it I love how full coverage it is like it really does cover my hyperpigmentation and I absolutely love the undertone I just feel like it holds up fairly well throughout the entire day like I can wear this all day at work and it doesn't look bad at all and I just love the coverage of it especially for me again I have hyperpigmentation that's three to four shades darker it could become a struggle to cover them really well without them kind of peeping through and I just feel like this foundation it does a really great job next cosmetics I love their stuff, you guys. I'm like a diehard fan of their stuff. I remember purchasing their products when I was in high school, when I didn't have a lot of money to spend on makeup. And the first product I want to talk about is a blush that you're probably familiar with me talking about. I have used it for so many years and I have done, used this blush throughout like a few makeup tutorials. And this is the NYX Terracotta Blush Girl. It is just beautiful. Love a terracotta blush. Love a terracotta lip color. And I absolutely absolutely love this one. I think they've discontinued it, I think, but you can still find it through Amazon. And I just love this blush, you guys. Love the affordability. I think they just do such a great job when it comes to blushes. And this is just one of my favorites. Another product of theirs that I absolutely love that you're probably really familiar with because I talked about it so much here on my channel a few years ago. And this is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss, remember? And this is in shade Peanut Brittle Girl. Again, it has like a terracotta undertone. Love the glossy sheen. It's just so beautiful. I still find them every now and then like through Walmart or Amazon every time I find them I try to stock up and try to be very like cautious on when I use it just like on special occasions because something about it just brings me back to that time that I just wouldn't stop wearing like this was like my everyday type of lip color I absolutely love it I hope they never discontinue it I hope they just continue selling this like I don't know, somewhere. I just love it. Like if I could reformulate this and create it like a lipstick, a lip gloss, I would totally do it. It's just so good. Concealer. This is another product that I really love that I think I did a review video here on my channel. I'm not really sure, but this is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. This is in the shade Natural. Love the undertone, you guys. Love the coverage. Love the finish to it. It holds up really nicely throughout the day. Not a huge fan of like the little puffy applicator, which by the way, it looks super <laughs> disgusting. So I'm a little nervous. And it embarrassed to show you guys but that's how you can tell I've actually used it I actually really like it they think they did a really great job love the price point and yeah I personally really love the concealer blush another brush product that I feel like they did a really great job with and this reminds me so much of the LA girl <laughs> cream blush like the packaging is kind of similar but in a way different and this is the NYX sweet cheeks soft cheek tint mousse blush and this is in the shade nude tude you guys, I, again, you can see a theme. I love a little nude, a terracotta kind of color. And I think they did a really great job. Love the price point. This one actually has a doe applicator, but nonetheless, it blended really nicely. Love the undertone. It works really well for someone like me who has to wear medium to full coverage to cover her little hyperpigmentation. It's just really good. So if you're looking for affordable blush that kind of, you know, 
holds up and blends really nicely. I highly suggest this one. I think they did a really great job when it comes to formulating their blushes. And another recent favorite of theirs that I absolutely love is the NYX Align Aloud Lip Aligners. Oh my god, you guys. These are so, so good. I love the price point. They're definitely long-lasting, like when you line your lips. Girl, it's going to stay on. Don't you even worry. My two favorite shades is Gold Crusher and the other one is called Global Citizen. I haven't stopped using them. They're just really, really good. Again, I think they did a really great job with the formulation of these liners and I just feel like... I feel like everything that I have tried from NYX so far hasn't disappointed me, but these really stood out to me. And last but not least, we have to talk about Milani because Milani, Milani girl has a little soft place in my corazón and I absolutely love Milani products. Everything that I have tried from Milani so far, I have ended up really loving. So this was really hard for me to like pick like exactly what I really, really love from their collection. But the products that I have been reaching out for a lot. Let's start off with the Milani Cheek Kiss blushes. I love the size of the pan, love the price point. This is in the shade Nude Kiss. It's one of my favorite shades that they came out with within this collection. It looks beautiful on, it blends really nicely. It doesn't have a weird tacky texture. It holds the pigmentation throughout the entire day love the undertone it's just so beautiful on that if you haven't tried this i highly suggest it because it's just really really pretty and it just holds up really well lipsticks and matte lipsticks you guys i think milani did a beautiful job with their formulation with this i got a chance to review them and i'm so happy that i picked them up that i reviewed them here on my channel that i got introduced to them because girl i can't imagine my life without them okay because i wear them non-stop and my two favorite shades that i'm obsessed with that i use all the time it it is called 420 Tees and 410 Pleasure Girl. Oh my god, just beautiful. Beautiful everyday type of lip shades. If you love nudes just as much as I do, girl, you you go run and just thank me later <laughs> because they're so pigmented. It feels really comfortable. It doesn't have the fine lines. It's just beautiful undertones. I just love the packaging. It holds up really nicely. I just really love their shades. I think they do a really great job when it comes to the lip products and I just feel like whatever they come out with, I think they do a really great job. Lip liners. This is something that I also feel like they did a really great job. And this is something that I also reviewed here on my channel. And this is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner. And this is shade Nude Entrance, number 110. And then I also really love French Rose, number 120. Absolutely love it. They're automatic. I absolutely love the pigmentation and the creamy consistency to them. I love the fact that it just feels really comfortable on the lips. I just feel like they did such a great job when it comes to these lip liners that it just really blew me away. And definitely you know stood out and I have used them so much and I absolutely love them blush this is another blush that I absolutely love and this is not a cream blush but this is in the shade what shade is it called cocoa felicita number 130 you guys it looks super pigmented if you get a little too crazy and heavy-handed because sometimes I do I get a little crazy and heavy-handed when it comes to blush but this shade is just beautiful it's, it looks like a beautiful like fall winter shade I just love the undertone it blends really nicely it never applies on patchy and I just feel like it's a beautiful shade like I absolutely love it, it looks really intimidating but I promise if you're really light-handed it just gives you a really beautiful finish and I just love how unique this shade is it just looks really different than anything that I see currently in the drugstore market foundation foundation is another thing that I'm really particular with particular with because I need something that's going to hold up really nicely that's going to work well with my combination of the skin but that's going to still cover the hyperpigmentation that I have on the top of my cheekbones and that can be kind of hard for me just because I need it to be the right undertone I need it to blend really nicely and not look cakey but still give me the coverage that I need and feel really lightweight <laughs> so this is the Milani conceal and protect two-in-one foundation and concealer this is shade Santa beige I am currently wearing it today I love this foundation you guys I feel like it's a little tan for me I feel like I can get a lighter shade but overall I make it work for me and it definitely feels really lightweight it definitely holds up really nicely throughout the day I feel like I can blot my face throughout the day and it doesn't like separate and get crazy and I just personally really like it like it doesn't really oxidize it gives me the coverage that it need and I just personally really love it I love the pump that it has I don't think I would wear this as a concealer <laughs> because I feel like the shades a little too dark but I just love the formulation and I think they did a really great job all right, you guys, and this is basically it. I have shared with you the top products that I love from five different brands. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it educational. It brought you back to like, oh my God, I remember when I came across her channel. Like she talked about this all the time. And I remember when I first started my channel, I didn't have a lot of makeup products and I just kept using what I had and try to make the most out of it. And it just kind of feels really like 
you know, it has a little soft place in my heart, some of these products. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below, share with me your top favorite products from five different brands or just any suggestions and things that I should try because I'm always looking for new stuff to try out. But this is basically it, you guys. Everything I talked about in today's video will be listed in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye.